KJP just flat out ignored the tax cut expiration question and then lied while blamed Republicans. I mean, what did you expect her to do? I wouldn't want her job have to continue to lie to people um, when you know who they're going to raise everyone's taxes. She can't say that, yeah, we're going to raise taxes on everyone. We're going to raise taxes on um, um, on the on the middle class and poor in particular because we we, we can't um, we don't have enough millionaires or billionaires to tax them and we refuse to um, <laughs> cut our spending so we're gonna have to uh, uh, let uh, Trump tax cuts expire so we can get get your money because we refuse to balance our budget and things like that so you think she can't flat out admit the truth so of course she has to ignore the question so we're gonna show that clip. Um, but before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber, and hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description, it has a link to my Patreon, that's where I talk about things I can't talk about here. Um, all right, let's let's check out this uh, this clip here. The great, <laughs> the great KJ, KJP. <laughs> I don't mean, the the uh, the diversity hire of the of the year is is what I'm giving her uh, I'm giving her an award <laughs> the diversity hire of the year all right here we go thanks Grant um, so the president says that he wants to let the tax cuts the Trump tax cuts expire if that law expires it does raise taxes on almost every American so does he still support hold that on, expire hold on hold on see her flipping through her book wait a minute let me let me check my binder to see to see the approved words that I'm allowed to say, oh, oh, there's nothing in here. Okay, so let me let me ignore that question. Okay, let me rewind it. Okay. Okay. Thanks, Grant. Um, so the president says that he wants to let the tax cuts, the Trump tax cuts, expire. Okay. If that law expires, it does raise taxes on almost every American. So does he still support that expiring without anything else in place? So look, uh, the, as you said, the president is going to uh, allow, uh, is going to is 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 going to let the Trump tax cut expire, uh, and he was very clear. But he will not raise taxes on anyone making less than four hundred thousand. Oh, I mean, that's a hold on. I'm, she says he's gonna let it, he's gonna let it expire, but she's he's not gonna raise taxes on people over hold on let me rewind let me get let me get the exact let me i cut her off hold on let her finish then I, let me cut in so look uh the as you said the president is going to uh allow uh is going to is 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 going to let the trump tax cut expire uh and he was very clear but he will not raise taxes on anyone making less than four hundred thousand. okay <laughs> four hundred thousand. so here's the lie i'm, I'm so I'm, I'm not by virtue of him allowing him the tax cuts to expire. He is in in turn raising taxes because the tax cuts were saving us average Americans money. So he is by virtue of allowing it to expire, raising taxes. So this is a flat out lie, and she knows this. They know this, but they think they think we're dumb. They think Americans are dumb. Uh, dollars uh, a year. That is that is part of the budget that you saw come out, uh, and uh, it's going to expire for the wealthy. So been very clear about that. Uh, you know. It's not the wealthy. It's the average Americans. The, by the go the government own um own own numbers reflect that it's going to be raising taxes. It'll raise taxes on the middle class and the poor. They continue to lie and say, "Oh, it's the rich." That is not true. It's the average Americans. By their own admission, it's going to raise taxes on the average American. This, I mean, just flat out lie. Why, why isn't anyone in the press checking her on this? This comes out of the Biden government saying it's going to raise taxes on us. You know, look, this is a president that's going to make sure that we protect uh, and not raise taxes for uh, for people making four hundred thousand dollars and less a year, and and Republicans want to do the opposite. They want to give tax breaks to corporations and billionaires. They said that they want to cut Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid. Who does that hurt? That hurts every day. I haven't I haven't heard, and, and I'm not capable for Republicans because I'm I'm, I'm disgusted with them as well with the anti-Semitism uh, bill, but. 
Um, I haven't heard not one Republican say they were going to raise, uh, <laughs> they was going to uh, lower um, um, Medicaid and Medicare and Social Security. I haven't heard not one Republican utter that or say that or even allude to that. I mean, they just make stuff up. And then when you check them on it, they can't give you any, they, they, they can't, they can't, they can't, um, they can't retort. Why, why is it the press checking them on this? Like, okay, the Republicans said they're going to do that. Which Republican? Can you give us a name? Can you give us a quote? They just make these things up as they go. Americans. And so the president has been really clear about that. He wants to expand Affordable Care Act, as you see him doing that for Americans, making sure that they have. Yeah, we want to expand that by raising your taxes. Average Americans getting your tax raise. That's how, how, that's how they're going to fund this. How do you think they're going to continue to send money overseas? How do you think they can, they can continue to give money to illegal immigrants? They have to raise someone's taxes, and it's going to come from me and you. Good health care. And so that's what the president is, is going to focus on. The president can't pick and choose which part of the law sunsets, the entire law will sunset. And the, uh, the tax foundation says that someone who's married, two kids, making 85000 would pay seventeen hundred dollars more yeah. uh, in taxes than we seen somebody under four hundred thousand dollars. We seen the numbers. You can't deny that. I'm glad there's at least one reporter in there hitting her with facts. The president has been very clear. He's going to protect working, uh, working and middle class How? Americans making less than four hundred thousand dollars a year. He's been very clear on that about that. Republicans want to do the opposite. They literally want to do the opposite. She 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 doesn't she doesn't answer that she doesn't answer that question. She doesn't answer the question. It's going to, the, um, the, the um, numbers come out, you're going to get your taxes raised by at least a G um, in most cases. And and then she's talking about what, um, he's not going to raise your tax, by virtue of letting it expire, it's going to raise your taxes. And, and what is she talking about right now? Opposite. They want to give a tax break to billionaires and corporations. That's what they said. They want to cut Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security. That's what they want to Who do. Said that? And so the president's going to do everything that he Notice she said that's what they want to do. She's assuming she didn't say that's what they said. She cuz he never said that. Can as he's building this economy from the middle out and the bottom up to protect everyday Americans. That's what he wants to do. Make sure that the middle class is strong. That's what he's going to do. Republicans in Congress are saying the opposite. Literally, they're saying the opposite. So that's been the president's plan from day one, and he's going to continue that plan. Go ahead. Go ahead. Thank you. I mean, it's just nasty work. It's nasty work. It's despicable. Um, I, I can't stand this administration. It, it's hurting so many people. I don't understand how anyone can vote for Biden, it, it, especially with everything that's going on. We're, we're, in, several, we're in the middle of several wars. Our, 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 um, our border is being invaded. Uh, we continue to give money to other countries while our own people are suffering. How can anyone uh, cape for this administration is, is beyond me. But let me know what you think about this. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time, peace.